The occlusinators work beautifully with the new dual cured bulk fill flowables like this material by Danville Zest. This is called Bulk Easy. Notice how fast I can fill that and how accurately I can fill it with that needle shaped applicator. So the beauty of this is that, uh, as Gordon Christensen and Michael Miller have stated, you don't get the pull away from the margins or pulpal floor because it sets auto cure. You don't disturb this for 90 seconds. Let it pull down. You might do a little brushing to make sure all your marginal gapping is eliminated, but leave it set. It's important, 90 seconds. Once that peroxide is used up as the catalyst, then we can photopolymerize it. And then we put some dots on there just to describe where we're gonna start. We're gonna start at the central pit and we're gonna go right down to the limit stop. And then we'll go to the mesial marginal pit. We'll create that to the limit stop, distal marginal pit. And then we work toward the pits. So we always go halfway and then go to the next pit and come back halfway. So that way we're creating planes. We're not just cutting a straight trench all the way through. What you're gonna see now is that even the fifth cusp, I just created the fifth cusp, very easy to do. And keep in mind, this is 50 micron diamond. So at 100,000 RPMs with a lot of water, you get a lot of great shaping. This is 15 micron now. This is a finisher and a polisher diamond. And this is what, because of the straight side, will just define those planes and make them very sharp. Now we're gonna remove the bands. So keep in mind, this is real time. See how quick it is to produce these restorations. So we pull our bands out. Then we go to the Strauss Mylar discs, which are beautiful, both in size, texture, and also the fact their mandrel is very unobtrusive. So I'm finishing the interproximal areas there. And now what I'm going to do is round over the marginal ridges. Where I'm rounding over the marginal ridge to make a very flossable situation. So there you are. Look at the anatomy on that tooth. That's going to chew better than anything that has an amorphous shape to it. Once we get done with that, we can put secondary anatomy in. Very easy to do with the secondary anatomy with the small acorn. The small acorn has got the same angle as the larger acorns. And it, of course, is 50 micron. I use a lot of water, about 100,000 RPMs to create the final shape. This also works when you take the rubber dam off and you have to make any kind of an adjustment.